Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's lovely to see you. My motto this year is whatever brings you happiness, keep doing it. And at this moment, buying books brings me so much happiness, so I'm not quitting. Let this be your sign to buy that book you want. Um, but I'm shocked that my skills of managing to accumulate this amount of books in a month. No, really, I don't care, okay? We live once, YOLO. <laughs> I think we can jump into the video and look at all the books that are added on to my never-ending TBR. Let us just jump straight in to the video. The first book, I am such a cover buyer. And if I love the cover, you best believe I'm going to buy the book. So when I saw this one by Stephen King, Billy Summers, I had to buy it. And it's about this Iraq veteran. He's a killer for hire. He doesn't want to get hired or sign any contracts of killing. And he gets this offer, which is just too big to refuse. And he sends something is wrong. He doesn't know yet what is wrong or about the woman who will help him try to set things right. Yeah, I don't know who the woman is or what they're doing, but it sounds really intriguing. I love hire to kill and something goes wrong. I love it because it's like the suspense. I love a good suspense. So yeah, Billy Summers. Then a man called Uwe. I actually had this book, but the copy I had was so tiny that I couldn't really read the font. So I had to get a new one, a little bit bigger one, and I'm very excited to read it now. Also, it's soon to be a major film starring Tom Hanks. The blurb is short, so I think I'm going to read it. Uwe is almost certainly the grumpiest man you will ever meet. He thinks himself surrounded by idiots, joggers, neighbors who can't reverse a trailer properly and shop assistants who talk in code. But isn't it rare these days to find such old-fashioned clarity of belief and deed, such answering conviction about what the world should be and a lifelong dedication to make it just so. In the end, you will see there is something about Uwe that is quite irresistible. I also heard this is quite sad, but I'm really excited to read it. You know, I love my sad books. You will see soon, you will see soon. There is a video coming, by the way. <laughs> I also got my hands on The Light We Lost. You might recognize this title if you saw my last video. I finally got my hand on it, I really wanted it, and I got it. And I'm very excited to read it. Because every love story has a beginning. True. 11th September 2001, Lucy and Gabe met in New York on a day that will change their lives and the world forever. As the city burns behind them, they kiss for the very first time. Ooh! <laughs> Over the next 13 years, they are torn apart, they're brought back together time and time again. It's a journey of dreams, of desire, of jealousy, of forgiveness and above all, love. And Lucy is faced with a devastating choice. She wonders whether their love is a matter of destiny or chance. What if this is how their story ends? I just love like a tragic love story. <laughs> Sometimes I think there's something wrong, but I'm like, no, I'm just unique, okay? I'm very excited to read it and yeah. Then I have Sun and Art of Motorcycle Maintenance by Robert M. Piercing. I really like the cover and this is the 40th anniversary edition and I really know nothing about this book. I just bought it purely because I love the cover. Yeah, I think it's about a motorcycle trip through or across America by a father and a son. I don't know, something happens. It says a story of love and fear of growth, discovery and acceptance that becomes a profound personal and philosophical odyssey into life's fundamental questions. I love that. And I love the cover again. Then I got my hands on The Maidens by Alex McLeodis, um, the author who wrote The Silent Patient. I did not like The Silent Patient. Um, something about the book just, I don't know, I just didn't like it. Um, and I can't like pinpoint why I don't like it. But I thought I want to give him another chance because I've heard very good things about this book. And also I think it is a um, dark academia book because on the back side it says The Maidens are Cambridge University's most exclusive society. 
whose members are selected by the charismatic professor of Greek tragedy. When one of the maidens is murdered, grieving young therapist Mariana Andros is drawn back to the idyllic campus where she was once herself a student. I love myself a good murder mystery book, but also like a good dark academia vibe. I feel like this is going to be more of my alley than the silent patient. I'm very excited to read this one as well. The next one I got, I've seen all over TikTok and I got FOMO. So I bought Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I don't know what this is about either. Obviously, I think it's a love story because you have two names on the back. You have Misha and Ryan. Also because it says we are perfect together until we meet. Yeah, I don't know what this book is really about. Could it be like lover to enemies to lover again? I would love that. Then I got Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Sevigne. First of all, this cover is beautiful. Like this book is beautiful. So I had to get my hands on it and also I have heard a lot of good things about it. This book is about two kids that meet in a game room at the hospital and they're a boy and a girl. The girls start talking to this boy and this boy talk to her and he really doesn't talk to anyone. And later in life, she goes into university to study game development or something. Oh yeah, they meet later and they collaborate and that makes them superstars or their collaborations make them superstars. So yeah, I'm very excited to read that. I haven't really read anything that has like game related in books or actually I have read Ready Player One, but that is kind of like different again, but that's the only like game book I have read. This sounds amazing and really, really cute. The next book I got is Five Survive by Holly Jackson, the author who wrote the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. And I really enjoyed the trilogy. So if you want to see like my opinions or my thoughts throughout reading the books, I have shorts on them. So just pop over to my shorts. So yeah, this book is about a friend group who's on a road trip. And when their RV breaks down in the middle of nowhere, and it turns out it isn't an accident. Eight hours, six friends, one sniper, are they going to survive? I don't know. Again, I love myself a good murder mystery book. You know, I'm very excited to read it. Then I got myself The Final Offer by Lauren Asher, the last book in the Dreamland Billionaires trilogy. And I'm very excited to read it because this is between Galahan and Alana or Cal and Alana. And I'm very excited for Cal to have his own book. And also, I love the cover. Then I got The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Also, I've seen it all over TikTok and I wanted to read it because I have been feeling like... I've been feeling like I've been in this mood of love. It's basically about this girl who is just accepted that love isn't easy or there's like no formula for love. And she ends up hearing about this company, which is like a matchmaking company based on your DNA. And she matches with the company's owner or CEO. No, the founder of the company. And she knows that this man is 100% not her type. So I hope this is also is going to be like an enemies to lover because I love myself a good enemies to lover. Then I have O. William by Elizabeth Strout. And she was shortlisted for the Booker Prize of 2022. And I love this cover. So this book is about a writer um, which her ex-husband is a very hard man to crack. And one of the mysteries in life, in her life, is why they have remained or have contact after all these years. And she's surprised when William asks her to join him on a trip to investigate a recently uncovered family secret. One of the secrets that rearranges everything we think we know about the people closest to us. In the story that follows, we'll learn more about the quiet forces that hold us together, the fears and insecurities, the simple joy and acts of tenderness, even after we have grown apart. That sounds so cute and like amazing, you know? And I have a feeling this is going to be a really good book. I hope so. I also got Alone With You in the Either by Olivia Blake, the author of The Atlas Six and The Atlas Paradox. This is a love story and I... Also, I'm very excited to read this. In a Chicago art gallery, two people meet by chance, which is a doctoral student and a 
bipolar artists. And could six conversations with a stranger be the variable that disrupts the entire simulation? Oh, I think this is going to be my next read, actually. And also, I love the cover. <laughs> I also have Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Nivan. And she's the author of All the Bright Places. I haven't read a book, but I've seen a movie. It's about two people who are struggling and have their own issues. They meet and their worlds change. Because sometimes when you meet someone, the whole universe can just come into focus. Like they're learning from each other and viewing each other's perspective on life and the world. And you know, just yeah, grow from there. I love that. So I'm really excited to read that one. So yeah, hold up the universe. Then I finally picked up a million kisses in your lifetime because I got severe <laughs> FOMO as well when it came to this book. It's about this girl who's beautiful and kind. She always gets good grades and is loved by everyone at her school. Everyone except this boy, this bad boy who is rich and handsome and his life is meant to be easy for him, and, but it's not. Like, he gets a lot of pressure and it makes his life harder than everyone thinks it is. And he doesn't have time for instant girls who only care about their classes. Girls like the said girl from the beginning. But they get an unexpected chemistry in psychology class. And the girl discovers there's more to life than good grades. And the boy finally understands what it is like to be in love. Another book on my spicy love story. TBR. Let's keep going because I still have a few. I actually bought a few series or like a few from the same author actually. I bought two books by Amy Lee or Amy Leah, which is one Set on You and X's and O's. I think this is about like this fitness influencer who falls in love and this is about the books, the grammar who falls in love. I think this is like a uh, enemies to lover or uh, this is uh, enemies to lover. I don't know. I think it's like an independent series, so you don't have to read the first one to read the second one. But yeah, I'm not quite sure, I don't know. Because I bought this one first and then I heard someone say it was a part of a series and then I got confused because I couldn't figure out which series. And then I found this one and I thought they might be a series, but they are not really a series, they are standalones. But in a series, if that makes sense. And I thought they would be perfect to read for February. Valentine, love is in the air, you know. Then I got myself a few Lucy Foley books. I got The Hunting Party and The Guest List. I already have a copy of this one, but the copy is tiny, teensy tiny. If you want to see how tiny the copy is, go to the video where I am rearranging my TBR. It is tiny. This tiny book of the guest list. Like, I mean, tiny. It's tiny, it's like a baby. But I bought a new copy and I am very excited. Each has a secret, each has a motive. Of the windswept Irish coast, guests will gather for the wedding of the year. Old friends, past grudges, happy families, hidden jealousies, 13 guests, one body. One guest won't leave this wedding alive. Ooh, I love that. The hunting party in a remote hunting lodge deep in the Scottish wilderness. Old friends gather for New Year, the beautiful one, the golden couple, the volatile one, the new parents, the quiet one, the city boy, the outsider, the victim. Not the accident, a murder among friends. So they have like around the same concept. Very Agatha Christie, if you ask me, and I love that. So I'm very excited to read those. Then I bought myself a few books from Kathleen Glasgow. I bought How to Make Friends with the Dark, You'd Be Home by Now, and also Girl in Pieces. I've seen this book all over TikTok and I wanted to read it because it sounded sad. So this book is basically about a girl who doesn't have it really easy in life. At 17, she's already lost more than the most people do in a lifetime. You don't have to think about your father and the river, your best friend who's gone forever, or your mother who has nothing left to give you. A deeply moving portrait of a girl in a world that owns her nothing, yet has taken so much. On her long journey back from the edge. I love a good, like, growth in books. Um, You'll be home now. I think this is about addiction. 
Everyone tells Amy who she is, the quiet one, the obedient one, the reliable one, not strong-willed like her beautiful sister Maddie and not in rehab like her wild brother Joe. But when a tragic accident changes life in her small town forever, can Emily finally drop the act? I like when books have like really important themes. Like for example this one, like teen addiction, cause it's such a big problem. Um, at least I know here in Norway or where I am, like teen addiction and teen alcoholism is very big topics that nobody really talks about because it kind of gets swept under the rug as like teen stuff. So I'm excited to read a book that has like that topic. Then how to make friends with the dark. I love the title. I thought I was done with death at least a little bit, but death wasn't done with me. It's always been Tiger and her mother against the world. Then on a day like any other, Tiger's mother dies. Now it's Tiger alone and she must learn to make friends with the dark. Then I picked up the Caravelle trilogy by Stephanie Garber because I've heard a lot of good things about this as well and it was three for two so I got one of the books for free and I love that. <laughs> you have a Caravelle. Love this cover, really enjoy the gold cover. Legendary, which is this blue cover. And Final, which is this red cover. On the first one, the back side says, Once a year, the famous master legend holds Carvel, only open to those who have been invited. This year, the week-long game is on Legends Glittering Isle de la Sueno, where the winding streets are an elaborate snow-covered maze and the people are never who they seem. At midnight on the first day, the show begins and the visitors become players. Each of them is vying for the coveted prize. A single wish. All they must do is unravel the mystery of the caravel. But in a game where danger hides behind every charming smile, winning isn't without loss. And their wish might be their last. Oh wait, that sound actually very, very intriguing. I'm very excited to read the series actually. Then I have one last series which I am very, very excited to read. And it is the Magnolia Parks universe. I am very excited to read this series. You have no idea. I think this is going to be like the perfect series for me because I love drama and I love toxicity in books, fiction sometimes, and also the covers. Like this is the first one, Magnolia Parks. The covers are beautiful. I love the covers. Then you have Daisy Hates, The Long Way Home, Magnolia Parks. Again, the cover is stunning. Then the last one, which is The Great Undoing, Daisy Hates. And I think this is my favorite cover. <laughs> I'm very excited to read this series. So yeah, that is all the books that I have accumulated over the last month. I am very excited to read it. I think this has absolutely been my favorite haul so far. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one, hopefully. Bye!